as masculinity continues to be demonized in the West, as levels of testosterone plummet amongst people with a Y chromosome, we want it to be known that we here at Recharge Freedom have learned the hard way not to be bigoted and to automatically label them men. Since not only don't we know how they all individually identify, but also the newer models coming online after their college experience behave more like weepy women, which might scientifically make them trans. We here at Recharge Freedom follow the science, but it is incumbent upon us to adapt to the ever-changing world, mainly because being ahead of the curve, we have the possibility of becoming grotesquely rich. Today we are focused on the ever-shifting desires of the readers of romance novels and their archetypical male protagonists who vacillate over the years between the strong, independent, successful, muscular, and masculine silence types to the strong, independent, successful, or muscular, masculine, and silent types. But I am prognosticating one of the greatest archetypal shifts that mankind maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind so we'd like you to uh, look we, we like to say people kind not necessarily mankind because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive that mankind has ever seen if you look at just a few years ago at the international bestseller 50 shades of gray we see the archetype of the patriarchy let's examine the male protagonist, Christian Grey, was described on average five times per page as being incredibly handsome. Okay, perhaps that's a slight exaggeration. Maybe it was four and a half times per page. But the book kept repeating it over and over, indicating that it was some of some consequence to the author and her rapacious readers, all under the spell of the patriarchy. He was tall. Hmm? He was a self-made billionaire at the age of 27. So he's way up on Zuck in the first two categories and slightly ahead of him in the third. Good on you, Christian. I understand why females from the ancient year of 2014 lusted after you. But Christian Gray also wants to tie up the female protagonist. And while in bondage, he wants to flog her. Sure, biological females in 2014 found the idea of being dominated intriguing enough to make it the number one bestseller in the world and have movies made after it. But this is 2021 and things have changed, baby. Some of you might take great offense to the fact that I use the terms both biological female as well as baby. Please raise your hands if that's you. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Excellent. You are the people who comprise the audience, the market for my new book. And I hope that these tantalizing excerpts, which I'm about to read, not only intrigue y'all, but also publishers out there who are willing to give me a multi-million dollar advance. Feel free to send any advances, any donations to the Bitcoin address, which is in the description of the video in the description of the video, or even if you're just entertained, you can send some, and for goodness sakes, thumb up this video and leave me a comment with your thoughts on it. Here we go. The first time I laid eyes on Gordon, I nearly melted, mainly because it was 110 degrees outside of his North Las Vegas one bedroom apartment he shared with two roommates. They were playing on the Xbox they had looted during the George Floyd racial justice riots. And by the looks of it, he was racking up quite the high score. But I couldn't tell you for sure, since they had tape over the TV where the score would normally be displayed to prevent the ugly instinct of competition from rearing its head. Equity, they mused politely, is what's most important. He didn't have much in the way of hair, but his glasses made him look smarter than you'd otherwise have guessed him. He picked a potato chip off his shirt and shoved it into his mouth. 
He had a certain passion to him as he shot at the zombies emerging on screen, and he murmured, death to the patriarchy, shooting up the brown shirts. He turned to me with his bloodshot eyes and whispered in his gravelly, marijuana smoke-filled voice, I wish I could do this in real life. He paused the game and stood, sipping his Diet Mountain Dew. His face was scraggly, with a partially shaven salt and pepper beard that shuddered as he stood. I noticed the in and out bag next to where he'd been sitting and his half-eaten bag of curly fries. We have an extra burger, he offered. I'm vegan, I retorted angrily. I was thinking of becoming one. You should. Eating meat destroys the ozone layer and contributes to global warming. You want to be part of the patriarchy? No, I, I, I want to end the patriarchy, he answered uncomfortably, his belly fat jiggling below his ketchup-stained t-shirt. Then be vegan, I demanded. He looked up, meekly answering, I, I, I'm a vegan now, I guess, and smiled that pathetic smile at me. It was then and there that I decided that Gordon would be mine. Literally, I wanted to own him in the ancient patriarchal way. Somehow, I was deeply turned on by his roughed and unkempt beta -ness. I had the overwhelming urge to dominate him. I had a perfectly agreeable childhood, but majoring in women's studies at Smith College had taught me that my daddy, who I originally thought was nothing but good and kind to me, was oozing with toxic masculinity that my female ancestors had endured for eons. Now I want to feel what it is to dominate the other. You're going in the right direction, I cooed gently, reaching out to touch his arm. He almost jumped back. I wonder if this pear-shaped doughboy has ever been touched by a girl, I thought to myself. Perfect. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? We just presented to you an excerpt from my upcoming novel entitled, very lovingly, Putting the Patriarchy in Bondage. Fifty Shades of Black, an SJW Antifa romance novel. I fully intend on completing this novel, provided I get a multi-million dollar advance, or if the only alternative is crucifixion. If you guys are entertained, please leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and please thumb up the video, turn that like button blue. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, we got more coming. All notification bell, Bitcoin address is there. Peace out everybody, have a great day.